or and it's getting to that time of year again between winter and spring that we call tax season. And this year there are some changes to look out for. Our Griffin Wright joins us this morning with one of those changes that has to do with the child tax credit. Good morning, Griffin. Good morning, Kaylin. So during the pandemic, you could write off $3,600 for children under five. Well, now that's returned to pre pandemic levels of just $2,000 per child, which means lower refunds this year. And the experts say that can cause issues for the unprepared. So for people, what I'm seeing is they didn't withhold enough. So they owe or they were getting those credits. Well, those credits have been lowered. And so now they may get less of a refund or maybe they owe uh, money back. Now, another change is an increase in the standard deduction. Also on a federal level, late last year, the president signed a bill into law that created over 99 additional provisions for retirement accounts, making it easier to save more on employer contributions. And looking locally here in Iowa, new this year for Iowans who are 55 or older and Iowans who are disabled, there are some new changes to pay attention to. We had a huge tax reform that, that was signed into law March of last year. It's House File 2317, uh, specifically for Iowans that are 55 and older or disabled for pensions, IRA distributions, and here's the big one, Roth conversions, there is no more state tax. You're just dealing with federal. So let's recap what we have here. The child tax credit is lower than last year. There's a higher standard deduction and also federal employer contribution changes. Here in Iowa, there's less state tax for those who are 55 or older and those who are disabled. And of course, the best way to make sure you get the most out of your tax filing is to work with an expert because this stuff can get complicated and you know that deadline is coming up April 18th. So you do have time, but the sooner you start, the easier it is to make sure you get the most out of those tax returns. Absolutely. That April date will be here before we know it. So time to round up those receipts and documents and just be organized and have everything prepared. Thanks for that, Griffin.